Hey guys, Vaughn here. I'm back. We're playing the Super Nintendo Classic. And we're actually playing the arcade version of Marvel vs. Capcom. Yes, it is all led up to this. Pretty new to this game. Um, only first encountered it on this uh, emulator here. Let's drop some coins in. May need them. Now, look, I'm not super diverse with the skill set of these characters, but I know I can play Ryu. Uh, I've dabbled with Hulk, Venom, Mega Man. Let's give Mega Man a shot here. I don't have any idea what manual or easy does. Turbo doesn't seem that fast, honestly. Maybe it allows you to do some moves in midair. You can see that they upped the animation and the presentation factor, the backgrounds, over uh, the what I would call now beloved X-Men vs. Street Fighter. This is really like the third game in the versus canon. Yeah, there's a lot more animation there when it comes to the uh, specials. Stuff I haven't figured out for shit. Mega Man can easily blast with the hard punch that can come in uh, handy. Give him easy range attack right there. You can also jam what X and A programmed at. This allows him to have a helper come in and blast. Oh, come on, Cyclops. I know you can do better than that. And we see they actually run out of that. But it, it gives you a little something easy to put together. You can get more heroes on screen at a time. Yeah, I don't know Mega Man's moves for shit, and I have a very hard time pulling off these specials. Uh, okay, so, oh, well, the supers, that is. So I wasn't even sure what his super was. Yeah, come on, let's try to, try to get reuse in here. There we go. We can't be losing the first match. Can we? You dick. Oh, okay. We're gonna get cheesy here. Maybe. Oh, no. Jeez. Mega Man wins. It's closer than I damn well wanted it to be, to tell you that much. So look, you really don't have to go through a ton of fights because you are taking on two guys per match here. So we'll, we'll take a look at some of these characters. And then I'll probably just try to skip ahead to the, uh, the main boss, who is pretty damn cheap, but I, I found some ways to cheese him. Not really sure what I did there. I'm like trying to do the special, the super, and it kind of makes him into like Shin Ryu. Oh, come on. There we go. I don't know much about uh, Morrigan. She's got quite the rack. Alright, let's get Mega Man in here. Alright, come on. Blast with some Cyclops. Oh, blocking that. Oh, no, did not block that. She's one shot. Oh. oh you are being cheap. Mm. Dark. Darks. Was it Dark Stalkers? Is that the name of her series? Shit, if I know. Oh, look, Ryu actually changed D's there. That's kind of cool. Now before my camera craps out on me, I want to show you the end boss onslaught. Now there's no uh, take on onslaught and then uh, you have to prove which of your two guys is the leader. None of that stuff goes down. But um, 
This guy is cheesy AF. Absolutely. Um, he comes across in two phases. Uh, phase one. Yeah, he, he's kind of like this uh, psionic entity. And look, look, everything he does is a massive combo. You have to block, and then you have to cheese. That's really your only shot. You can call in help. So you have to get the block down, and even then you're going to take massive damage. Oh, come on, Reed. There we go. Now, once you take him out, it's it's a psionic creation between a, a merger of like Magneto and Professor X, and that's what this thing is. Now you have to deal with Phase Two, and what I kind of ended up having to do because it, it's just he can cheese you so much, and you're probably depleted a man anyways. I ended up using a save state where Venom and I, well, <laughs> Venom and Ryu. Am I making myself Ryu here? We were actually working him over pretty well. And I found that though it's nice to be able to jump up and, and get an easy blaster shot with Mega Man, Ryu can go to town with the kick and Venom ha and his hard kick really work him nice too. Alright, block this, get in position to kick the head. He takes out Ryu, no big. I know he doesn't want to deal with Venom. Alright, watch this shit. In the face! Okay, come on. What do you got for me? What do you got for me? I spent a good hour on this guy last night. It, it just... I couldn't find any shit on YouTube because the game's old enough people aren't even playing it. And this is a weird ass ending too, because I'm like, okay, are these guys gonna square off? Nope. Venom will protect the heart pure, and I know you can be trusted. Venom is talking about trust. Ryu's, let's go. Ryu, uh, we'll crush their skulls, eat their brains. Ryu, not much for words here. Uh, I gotta wonder how, did they write something different for every possible combo? You know, maybe. So, overall, Marvel vs. Capcom, I wouldn't say it's as good as X-Men vs. Street Fighter. I thought that game was more fun. I thought it was faster. I thought it was crazier. This, in some ways, refines it, but if you're not so keen with all of these uh, characters, especially the, the fact that you have some of the ones you may want to play as are your supports that come in. Like, you saw me throwing down the ice with Ice Man. There's all kinds of weird... I mean, look, you got the guy from, like, Ghost and Goblins over there. Rogue will show up, but you're like, hey, I want to play as Rogue. I want to play as Cammy. Nope, you don't get to do that. But it's enjoyable. I mean, it's frantic, but not as frantic as X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Um, you know, this series is still going. They have the Infinite now. I haven't played it, but I'm sure maybe some of you guys have. I've, I could actually check it out from my library. Would you guys watch a video of me working on that? Let me know. This was an okay game, but uh, you know I wouldn't wouldn't call it a masterpiece. I know that the series gets crazier with like three v three combat and shit, but uh, yeah, Marvel vs. Capcom from I think it was two thousand. Is it? I give it a nine point zero out of ten. HRS, come on.